All right, one of the students actually sent me these questions and yeah, it is not the SPM or IGCC level. This one definitely is a pre-U level, either A level or STPM. Yeah, this is the integration questions. So right now they asked us to integrate this one. So when I see the uh, power of X on the numerator is higher than the power of X at, uh, from the denominator, I know this one, maybe I need to use a partial fraction to solve it. So over here, I have two methods to solve this question. First is I, I will use the substitution method. I mean, I will let uh, u as a 2x minus 3 and then I will solve it. Second, I will use the partial fraction to solve it. All right, so let's have a look uh, the first method because I think the first method is easier. Depend which one you like, all right? so. Let's do about the substitution methods. So what I will do is, I will always let the denominator as u because it's easier for us to uh, substitute like that. So I will let u equals to 2x minus 3. Okay, so right now, my objective is I want to make all the x here in terms of u and then definitely I want to make the dx in terms of du as well so that I can do the integration. So first thing is I will do about du dx, I mean I differentiate this one, I will get about um, 2 here. So over here if I swap around, I should know dx is basically 1 over 2 du. Alright, this is the first information I have. Why I need this? Because I need to substitute this dx into here to get half du. Alright, then I want to substitute into every single x here. So yeah, here from the u equals to 2x minus 3, I want to make x as a subject, All right? So x should be um, u plus 3 divided by 2, u plus 3 divided by 2. All right, then x squared is basically, um, square the whole thing, uh, u plus 3 over 2 squared. All right, so yeah, a lot of information here. So what I want to do right now is, I try to solve the numerator first. I try to sub in here. So numerator is 1 minus x, x is u plus 3 over 2 minus x squared is u plus 3 over 2 squared. All right, divided by u. All right, so what I want to do is, yeah, I will add the integration sign at the end. Right now, I'm just trying to simplify it first. All right, so, okay, so I can see the denominator here is like, this is over 4 and this is over 2. So I make everything is over 4 here. So over 4. So the top should be 4 over 4, right? The first one is very easy. So this one is 2, so I, I kind of will uh, multiply 2 here and multiply 2 here. So you should be able to see I have a minus 2u minus 6. All right, this one, if I expand the denominator, it's 4 already, so nothing much I need to do. Here I have u squared uh, plus 6u plus 9. All right, divided by u again, so I can write the u like this. Okay, because if a over 4 divided by u, I can say it's a over 4u. Huh? This is the reason why I would get a 4u here, because I simplify the fraction. Okay, I hope you get it. Okay, then what I want to do next is, um, yeah, I will just further simplify a little bit because I should have a, a negative thing I want to solve it. So what we want to do right now is maybe I can take out negative. Okay, never mind. Just write one more step. Minus 2u minus 6 minus u squared minus 6u minus 9 divided by 4u. All right, this is what we have now. Um, Okay, we have about, let, let me take out the negative. All right, so we solve the number first. This one, 6 plus 9 will be 15 minus 4. Is 11 because I factorize out the negative this is the reason why it's plus all right this one is 2u plus uh, 6u is plus 8u and then I solve all these numbers so I left this one so factorize the negative so this one is plus u square over 4u all right so yeah so over here if I want to start about the integration I will do something like this all right, right now, I want to integrate um, the whole thing here after I simplify. So this one, I will just take out the negative 1 over 4. Okay, I will take out the negative 1 over 4. So here I will left about 11 plus 8u plus u squared divided by u. 
Alright, just now dx, I can change to what? dx is half du in the net. So here, I have another half du. Alright, the half I will multiply with negative uh, 1 over 4. So here should be negative 1 over 8. So then, here what I will do is, um, I will just separate them. This is 11 over u. And then this one should be plus 8. Only, this one should be plus. Uh, simplified is plus u, du. Okay, so then next thing I will do is I will just integrate them. 11 over u, if I integrate 11 over u, the same idea, I take out the 11, integrate 1 over u, right? So, integrate 1 over u, I will get ln u, isn't it? Okay, so I get 11 ln u. So, the first one, I done already. I will get 11 ln u. Alright, this one, integrate a is very simple. You will get 8u. This one, integrate, you will get u square over 2. Okay, then what is our u? Our u is basically 2x minus 3, isn't it? Then I will sub back uh, whatever thing I Okay, so I straight away multiply 1 over 8 into all the three terms here. So the first one is negative 11 over 8 ln. Alright, here you can put a modulus if you want, 2x minus 3. Because inside the ln here, uh, we must be always positive. Alright, and then this one, negative 1 over 8 and 8, I can simplify it. It's minus u, isn't it? Minus 1u. So u is 2x minus 3. Alright, then the last one should be, this one multiply in should be 16 at the denominator. So it should be minus u, right? So it's 2x minus 3 square over 16. Alright, this one should be my final answer. If I want to make all of them have the same denominator, definitely I can do that. But I, I will just leave like this first. Okay, because now I want to use the second method. And I want to show you the final answer is the same. So over here, I just do some extra step. This extra step you no need to do. Because later, I don't think when I do the partial fraction, I can get such a nice uh, uh, fraction here. So... If I want to solve all the x term here, this one negative 11 over 8 ln 2x minus 3 should be fine. I want to just simplify a little bit for this number here. So let's see what I can do here. So if I simplify um, these two terms here, um, let's do it. This one is over 1, right? If, so I want to multiply 16, multiply 16 here. So I should have something like um, negative 32x. Um, okay, never mind. I put the bracket or oh, never mind. I can multiply negative 16 for both. Lah. So this one should be plus 48. And then this one, if I expand, I should get something like uh, 4x squared minus uh, 12x plus 9 over 16. All right. Because, um, yeah, I forget something <laughs> because I forget about plus c. So all the term here after I integrate must have plus c. Eh? So the here the final answer should have a plus c. Alright, so okay, then I will simplify this thing here. So I have about 32x. I will ignore about the number here because the number actually belong to c. So later you can see, yeah, because the number belong to the plus c, so I will I will just ignore here. So over here I should have negative 32 plus 12, so I is negative 20x over 16, the first term. The next one is the negative 4x squared over 16. All right, then 48 and 9 belong to plus C, so no more. So this one, if I further simplify, it means um, this one should be negative 5 over, 5x five over 4, and then this one is minus x squared over 4. All right, with this term. So you should have this three term, one, two, three, when I do the partial fraction. All right, so right now, I want to do the partial fraction ready. So let's see whether I can get the same answer or not. So right now, if I integrate one minus x minus x squared over two x minus three, exactly the same question just now. So what I want to do is I try to separate them in the three different fraction. So Okay, let me simplify first lah, okay? I, then only I add the integration sign at the end. So this is one over two x minus three minus x over two x minus three minus x squared over two x minus three. Right now I simplify whatever term inside first lah. 
Okay, because for partial fraction, we cannot have the same power for numerator and denominator. So this one is called improper fractions in partial fractions. So we kind of need to like further simplify this thing. All right, so, okay, this is what I will do is for this one, I will just do about something like x divided by 2x minus 3. So, yeah, because x is divided by 2x minus 3, I'm using the long division. So here I will do about 1 over 2. Multiply 2x, I get x minus 3 over 2. So here I get the remainder uh, 3 over 2. I'm just trying to change them into a sort of mixed numbers. Alright, so this one, let's say if we have a 9 over 2, we can call it is what? 4n, 1 over 2, right? So because if 9 divided by 2, this one is what? 4, 8, and remainder 1. So this is the reason why we can call 4, uh, plus 1 over 2. Okay, can we say it like that? Because this is 4 plus 1 over 2. So if this one you plus together, you're still getting 9 over 2, right? So because of this reason, so this one, what I will do is I will call it as minus, this one should be 1 over 2, and then my remainder will be plus, uh, supposedly is 3 over 2 divided by 2x minus 3. But I will further simplify this one because I can bring the 2 to the bottom. So what I will get is something like this. I will get about 3 over 2, 2x minus 3. Right, so I just simplified some fraction. So we do the same thing for the x square here. So same thing x square if divided by 2x minus 3. So yeah, let's divide again. So let's see what I get. So I will get about half x. So half x multiply 2x, I will get x square. Half x multiply negative 3, I will get about negative 3 over 2x. So here I will left about 3 over 2x. So this one, if I simplify it into the mixed number, I should know this one should be half x. Uh, and then plus, this one like 3 over 2x, I can call it 3x over 2, 2x minus 3. All right, like I say, I cannot have the same power for numerator and denominator, right? So here, I want to do one more time. And then if you see carefully, this one, if I take out the 3 over 2, we realize this one is exactly same with this term isn't it? So basically means what? I can copy this answer for this one. All right, so I will just simplify one more time here. So which is one over two x minus three. Here should be, never mind. Uh, I want to expand also can, or I just expand uh, one negative one over two. And then this one should be negative three over two, uh, one over two x minus three minus 1 over 2x and then this one uh, minus 3 over 2 so this one this one if I expand I will get exactly the same term isn't it so it'll be 1 over 2 plus 3 over 2 1 over 2x minus 3 yeah I know it's a bit crazy for all the simplification but yeah this one is almost what I want I just need to solve the last term here so is I will just copy one more time real quick so you can see why I live like this because it's easier for me to do the integration later. All right, then this one should be um, minus one over two x and then minus three over four. And then this one should be um, minus three times three is nine over four. And then this is one over two x minus three. All right. I want to simplify further a little bit because why? I can see I have a loss. Let's say if I let a equals to one over two x minus three, you should be able to see I have something like uh, a minus three over two, a minus nine over four a. Do you see that? All of them have the same term here. So basically mean I can plus them together. So yeah, I hope you get the idea here. So what I want to do here is just imagine I have one of it. So it's something like one minus three over two and then minus um, nine over four. So 
yeah if i solve this one real quick here this is 4 minus 6 minus 9 over 4 this one should be negative 11 over 4 okay so therefore i have negative 11 over 4 1 over 2x minus 3 all right um there's some number here okay so this one should be minus 1 over 2 minus 3 over 4 this is time 2 time 2 this one should be negative 5 over 4 okay minus 5 over 4 minus 1 over 2x all right now i can do the integration uh dx so you can see what i try to do is i try to simplify uh this fraction make them at the end i got something like this then the whole thing will become very easy to integrate right now the negative 11 over 4 i can take it out so then i only integrate this one so if i integrate 1 over 2x minus 3 i will get ln 2x minus 3 divided by 2 because i want to differentiate inside put at bottom so and then minus this if i integrate this one negative 5 or 4x integrate this one minus x square over 2 divided by 2 2 times 2 is 4 okay plus c all right i just need to simplify this one negative 11 over 8 ln normally put modulus 2x plus minus 3 and then minus 5 over 4x minus x squared over 4 plus c all right this is my final answer but remember just now when we are using the first method we actually get something similar isn't it negative 5 over 4x minus x squared over 4 you can see negative 5 over 4x minus x squared over 4 and then we still have a negative 11 over 8 ln 2x minus 3 yeah so basically this is how we solve this kind of question it's kind of complicated uh, for the part we actually simplify the fraction but it's all about algebra just just this kind of algebra actually is way more complicated but if you know any faster way or smarter way yeah please share with me because right now i only know about these two methods to solve this kind of question anyways i hope you enjoyed this super long video and i will see you guys in the next video bye bye